Toronto heads into Washington, and the Wizards are a three-point home favorite on the overnight line. The total is 189 and a half. Uh, Toronto did cover three of their last four games before the All-Star break with Rudy Gay in the lineup, so they look like they might be putting things together for a good run in the second half. Uh, in my ATS conference update with uh, Jordan Sharp, we talked about the East, my most recent one. He gave the opinion that he thinks that uh, Toronto will be a good bet in the second half, and I'll be looking for that myself. I'll be keeping an eye out for this team for sure to see how things work out with Rudy Gay in the lineup. Uh, but Washington, though, of course, was a phenomenal bet in the first half. They were 31-18-2 against the spread overall in the first half, and they closed the half covering five out of their last six games. So they closed the half just as hot and just as well um, against the spread as they started it. And they just, in general, have a fighting mentality that they're not going to lose, and uh, they'll probably have value in the second half as well. I'd be very surprised if um, Washington was not at least a little bit over 50-50 against the spread in the second half. So I would lean to Washington here minus three, uh, but maybe more so I'd lean to the over. It's 189.5, which is a pretty low number. Uh, Washington was a good uh, over bet at home. Toronto was a good over bet on the road in the first half. Washington was 14-9-2 over-under at home. Toronto 16-10 over-under on the road. And uh, in general, the first day back from the All-Star break, I do like to look for uh, spots to um, to bet the over. The overs are actually 23-16. and 16, uh, The first day back um, from the All-Star break over the past four years. That's 59%, good percentage, but a small sample size. So it's not something that uh, I would recommend blindly doing, but it is something that in general I look for, and um, I think this is one of those spots where the over is going to be a good bet. 189.5 is, uh, is my strongest play in this game, and also slightly towards Washington minus three.